Johnson and Costas onto DeCumpo. Costas will take the jump against Thomas Welsh, the legends, sporting green tonight. The Iowa Wolves in their visiting white uniforms. It'll be Welsh against Santa DeCumpo. Welsh, the seven-footer, played his college ball at UCLA. Costas, of course, played at Dayton. Welsh wins the tip, but it goes straight to Xavier Johnson, and we are underway. The Legends are coached by Bob McKinnon. The Wolves by Scott Roth. Raton May starts. He's going to launch a long two. Left it short, but right to make him for the offensive rebound. The Legends will get two offensive possessions to start this game. Shooting to our right, your left. There's Johnson. Goes into the body of Williams. Puts the shot up. At the end of the shot clock, he missed it. Rebound to Goodwin. You know, I like that they got Johnson starting. He's an energy guy, and he's going to get them rolling early. He's going to go after all the loose basketballs. He's going to spit hard on screens. I mean, he's going to get his guys open. He's going to have a good game today. Williams finds Terrell open for three in and out. Welsh, though, the offensive rebound, and he's fouled. He had 12 rebounds on Wednesday against the Legends. He's effective on the glass, and he's effective scoring the basketball as well. That's what he does. He's a rebounder, and he's a, and he's a scorer. He knows how to get that ball in the basket. He will head to the free throw line for two shots. He shoots 77% from there on the season. Our first foul of the game. And he missed the first. The Wolves come in at 16 and 25. The Legends 14 and 25. Like we said, this is the second night of a back-to-back -back for Iowa. They were at Rio Grande Valley last night. They lost that game 142-117. Welsh hits the second, and that's the first points of the game. Macon. He's going to be defended by Goodwin. Looks down low to Costas. He faces Welsh. Now he's going to back him down. Spins baseline. There's the shot, and it's short. Welsh, another rebound. Good one gets a screen from Welsh, but he goes to Williams, who's open for three. He'll take it off the back heel. An extra bounce falls to Raton Mays. C.J. Williams played a lot for the Clippers in the NBA last season. He also played for the Legends two years ago, so he's very familiar with Coach Bob McKinnon in the Frisco area. Hornsby puts the Legends on the board. The first bucket for Texas gives them the lead, 2-1. to one. Hornsby's mid-range game is, is really nice. You know, he's, you know, he really doesn't shoot a bunch of them, but when he does, he knocks them down effortlessly. Johnson Odom right back the other way. Johnson Odom. Had a 10-day contract with the 76ers in 2014. There's Daryl Macon, who wanted a foul. Doesn't get it, but he hit the shot anyway. Two mid-range jump shots. Score your first four points of the game. Not bad. There's Terrell on the wing looking inside. There's cutting C.J. Williams. Gets stuck in the paint and throws it away. Nice hands by Xavier Johnson. Macon brings it back down the other way. Then he lost it, falls on the floor to get it back, and we have a jump ball as Terrell tied him up. You know, Johnson had a really good hustle play down on the other end, and that's what he's going to bring to the Texas Legends. 16 will be on the shot clock if the Legends win it. It's Macon and Terrell. Number three and number three. Macon wins the tip, but Costas can't grab it. And it's Johnson Odom who comes up with it. Now he attacks a spin move all the way to the cup and lays it in. He's the guy that can get going early. He, he, he's the one you're going to have to keep your eye on because if he gets hot, then you know the basket looks really big to him. Shot clock is down to 10. Raton Mays, top of the key. Fires it in the corner. Shot fake by Costas inside, up off the glass. Good take by him, too. You know, attack the other big man. You know, he doesn't have to stand out there and, and hit shots. He can attack the big man. Welsh puts the ball on the floor, gives it up for Goodwin, who rises and hits that three. He had 18 points, 13 rebounds against the Legends on Wednesday. Got to stay connected to your shooters. 
Goodwin and Welsh both had a double-double Wednesday. Both are two-way players for the Denver Nuggets. Daryl Macon, mid-range, off the mark. Here's Williams. Gives it off to Terrell. Inside to Welsh, into the body of Kostas. Threw that shoulder into him, but the contact creates some space and puts the ball in the basket. So Welsh now has three points. The Legends back on the offensive end. Screen from Kostas, Raton Mays, mid-range. Off the rim. Wednesday night in Iowa, the Legends got down early. They got down big as we have a foul on the other end. That's going to go against Keith Hornsby. It'll send Terrell to the line. But Wednesday night in the first quarter, Iowa got out to a quick 21-7 lead. The Legends hoping to prevent that here at home tonight as Terrell heads to the line. 77% free throw shooter. You know, the Legends can run this team. You know, they got a, they got a good set of quick guards out there. If the Legends push the ball. If Kostas runs the floor, they'll get whatever they want on the offensive end. Both free throws good for Terrell. Ton Mays looks inside, now gives it to Johnson. Backs down on Williams. The ball's poked away, but we have a whistle. CJ doesn't agree with it, but it is a foul, and the Legends will inbound with 14 on the shot clock. Hornsby gets it into Macon. Screen from Costas. There's going to be a foul on Goodwin trying to fight through that screen. There's Raton Mays. Now another screen from Costas. Whips it to the corner. Hornsby and Johnson Odom. Keith goes into him, lost it, gives it up for onto the Kumpo. Fakes the three. Now he'll take it. Got it. Now, if he can start hitting that three, then you got a special player in the closest onto the pool, though. You know, he was knocking them down a lot early in shoot-around. So, you know, if he, he's been working on it. If he gets that shot, he's got to let it ride. And Welsh answers with a three of his own. Smooth jumper from Thomas Welsh. There's Kostas again rising and flushing, showing the versatility in his game, those two possessions. Absolutely, but that, that play all starts with Daryl Macon. He's beating his man off the dribble and gets some piece of that paint and dumps it off to the big man for the dunk. And that's a good, you know, that's good by closest on the Cooper rolling to the basket too. He gets the rebound there. Off the good one miss. Laton Mays on the perimeter. Screen from Costas. Baseline, shot fake. He's gonna give it up for onto the Kumpo. Right back to him. Shot clock down to five. Raton Mays gets the shot up, rattles it in. That's a tough shot right there. Fadeaway jump shot going baseline. That's a tough shot. Raton Mays poked it away, but then we have a whistle. And that's going to go on Xavier Raton Mays with sale by two about halfway through the first quarter. Both teams shooting well, 54% for the Legends, 62 for the Iowa Wolves. And Terrell travels on the perimeter. Bob McKinnon assisting the officials right in front of us. And nice defense from the Legends has gotten him back in this first quarter. And we've seen versatility on the offensive. Hey, nothing wrong with helping out the officials, letting them know someone traveled. Here's Macon to coast as he passed up a shot from beyond the arc. Gives it to Raton Mays. Finds a cutting Johnson with a left hand. When your guards penetrate and beat their man off the dribble and guys cut, that gives it, that's easy layup. You know, you get whatever you want. Goodwin, pass Johnson. Terrell, extra pass to Williams, into the paint, up off the glass. Nice move, but couldn't finish. But an offensive rebound for Welsh. CJ gets another chance, got it. 
Yeah, he's, he's shot that three well over his career. You can't leave him wide open. Macon tries to answer with a three of his own, and he does. That's a tough shot. You know, there's a screen being set, and you're going left, shooting a three off the dribble. Oh, that's a special player right there. Williams again. Thomas Welsh open for three. Way off. Straight off the backboard. Raton Mays gets into the paint, but he's cut off by Terrell. Resets, drives baseline, finds Antetokounmpo in the corner, but he was out of bounds when he caught that pass. It's a turnover, and we have our first substitute of the game. It's Jonathan Stark for the Iowa Wolves. He replaces Terrell. Good one, handoff to Johnson Odom. Around the well screen, nice finish for Johnson Odom as he's fouled by onto the Kumpo. You know, Odom's not that tall, but he's really, really strong. And he gets to the basket easy. Into the legends now, it's Dante Ingram and Vanderblue. Vanderblue, three made field goals away from second all time in G League history. The former G League MVP. With the South Bay Lakers in 2016, 2017. Free throw is missed by Johnson Odom, so he can't convert the three point play. Shoots 83% from the foul line on the year. On to the Kumpo, gives to Raton Mays. Now it's Macon as the shot clock's down to five. Finds him in the corner, pass to Blue. He got to get a shot up, he does, but it's off the back heel. Rebound to Iowa, and they're going to have numbers. Johnson Odom, cut off by Ingram. Ball's poked away, and it's going to stay with the Wolves. Nice defense by Dante Ingram there. That's real good defense. You know, you just got to be a little bit physical with them. You know, it's cut off that baseline, cut off the middle, and then you can stay in front of your man, make them have to hit tough jump shots. Goodwin on the inbound. Gives it up to C.J. Williams. C.J. behind the back, nice move. All the way to the cup, wild shot goes over the backboard. And C.J. has a few fans here from his time in Frisco. Put on a show there on that offensive possession, but he couldn't finish. Couldn't finish it, but that was a great move by C.J. C.J. spent a lot of time with the L.A. Clippers last season in the NBA. It was great to see the former Texas legend in Bob McKinnon's first season. Daryl Macon looking inside. He goes away from it. He gets it back. Onto the Kumpo had the mismatch, but Daryl takes the three. Too strong. Goodwin chases down the rebound, outlet pass to Jalen Johnson. It goes off his left hand. He tumbles into the courtside seats. Everybody's all right. Ball goes out of bounds to the Texas Legends. And C.J. Williams comes out for the first time tonight, replaced by Canyon Barry. On to the Kumpo. Screen for Raton Mays, his three off the mark. Johnson Odom grabs it, he pushes, he quickly goes down the floor and lays it in. That's the speed of Darius Johnson Odom. Not only the speed, I mean, he's getting that ball out and he's pushing it and he's also using his body and being strong. You know, if you're if you're on defense guarding him, you get it, you gotta get low and you gotta use your body against him or else once he gets going, he's getting going. Three by Ingram from the corner, no good. Johnson the rebound. Go to him. To start. He's going to take a long two off the back iron. Here comes Raton Mays. He's going to attack Jalen Johnson and he draws the whistle. And that's going to lead to a timeout on the floor. 2.15 to go in the first. Johnson Odom, but also Thomas Welsh, we talked about in the open. He already has six points and three rebounds. You know, Thomas Welsh, he's a, he's a big boy. You know, you got to have to keep a body on him also. You know, he's. He's going to be able to. He's going to be the one that's going to go down the stretch and try and win this game for him. That's who they're going to go to. Vanderblue tips out the miss, but goes straight to 
Goodwin. As Nate Mason gets set to check in for the Legends, it'd be his home debut in Frisco. Canyon Berry stops at the free throw line, bounce pass to Johnson, goes right back to Berry. That's a nice cut by Canyon Berry of the Iowa Wolves. Legends come back the other way. Six, the biggest lead for Iowa here in this first quarter. They led 12-6 and now 24-18. Macon draws the contact and he can't get the shot to fall. You know, Macon sees that he's got a smaller guard on him, uses his body, tries to create space. You know, that's a tough move. He will go to the line for a pair of free throws. Daryl on the year, 85% from the free throw line. He spent a lot of time with the Dallas Mavericks. And Booker, I don't think we can overstate how valuable that kind of time is for a young player like Daryl Mayton. No, it's, it's real valuable. You know, when, you, when you're playing with the big boys with the, in the NBA, you know, when you get back down to the G League, it's not necessarily, you know, easier, but you just, you, you get more confidence. You have, you have way more confidence and you get out here and it just, and it's a better flow for you. Nice tip out by Dante Ingram, but that Vander Blue called for the offensive foul. It goes back the other way. Macon hit one of two from the line. Goodwin gets the screen. He's going to launch a three. Barely grazes the iron. Ingram. Grabs it before it goes out of bounds. Macon looks inside to Dante Ingram. It's poked away, but he gets it back up and under. Move off the glass is no good. Johnson the board. We have a minute left in the first quarter. Goodwin to the cup. Up and under. Nice move by Brandon Goodwin. Macon hands off to Vander Blue. He gets a screen from Costas. Steps inside the line, rises for two, and it's off the mark. Costas onto the Kubo, hits the deck. There's no whistle, leads to an open lane for Goodwin. He lays it in. And it's the largest lead of this first quarter on a 10 to 1 run for the Iowa Wolves. They have a nine point lead on that 10 to 1 run. You know, the Iowa Wolves are pushing the ball at the Legends full court. You know, the Legends got to get back and stop the ball, and they got to talk them more on defenses to prevent those easy layups. William Lee grabbed that rebound. He's been coming for the Iowa Wolves. And they can hold for what will be close to the final shot of the quarter. Goodwin handling it. Defended by Macon. Shot clock down to two. Spins, rises. Off the mark with the offensive rebound. Tipped by Johnson. No good. And then he grabs it, but he has no time to get the shot up. And that's going to end our first quarter. Costas onto the coupon, unhappy with something talking to Zix, offering home inspections, pest control, and home energy assessments in the DFW area. Back to start the second quarter, the Legends trail 28-19 in the game for Texas for their home debut. Nate Mason and Billy Preston. Also, Tristan Burrell sees the floor for the first time. He contests that Canyon Berry three, but an offensive rebound by the Wolves leads to a start three, and he got it to fall. You know, that's why it's important to come up with those defensive rebounds. You don't want them to get second chances. Now Stark pressures the inbound and pokes it away from Nate Mason. But it'll stay with the Legends. We have a, a, a clock question here on this side of the floor. Looks like they got it figured out. So Dante Ingram will throw it in. More pressure from the Iowa Wolves, and they finally get it into Jerson Burrell. Gives it to Nate Mason, all the way to the cut. Floater, a little strong, and he doesn't get the bounce. Starts the rebound, and he's going to push it. Takes it all the way himself. An awkward fall, and he grabs his knee. Your, your fellow peers and your basketball guy, you don't like to see anybody get hurt. He is replaced by Darius Johnson Odom. Marquise Moore in the game as well for the Iowa Wolves. Johnson Odom had eight in that first quarter. Preston faces up Johnson. One dribble, step back, got it. You know, I remember Billy Preston. He's a Dallas kid. He played his high school ball out here. 
I think it was at Duncanville. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I know some ties to the area. You know, he was, he was a really good player out here. Legends get a stop there. Mason, bounce pass to Burrell. Fires the three, rattles it home. There Hassan, he, coming off the 20-point performance, gets on the board. Got on the board quick. You know, he's, that's what he does. He comes off that bench ready to score, ready to get buckets. So it looks like he might have a good night as well. William Lee attacks and adjusts midair for the lay-in. Preston, 10 games in Canton this season, eight games in Erie. So three G League teams now for Billy as he turns and misses. Thought he got fouled, so did Bob McKinnon, but no whistle. Johnson Odom attacks Ingram, gets by him and lays it in. Ten points for Darius Johnson Odom. He's our first player in double figures on the night. Man, he's just getting to the basket too easy. Vanderblue drop off for Ingram, but the ball is stolen away. Here's Odom again, all the way to the cup, lays it in. No resistance there, and Darius Johnson Odom is finding his way to the basket on a pretty easy level tonight. Well, I, I haven't seen him shoot one jump shot. Everything has been directly to the basket, going hard right. You know, put a body on him, make him feel a little pain before he gets in there and just makes everything so easy. He's got 12 points in 11 minutes. He's 6 of 6 from the field. Mason, and then back out. Shot clock winding down. He's going to shoot the three. Yes. That's a good shot. Keith Hornsby and Xavier Johnson at the scorer's table. They'll come in at the next dead ball. Johnson Odom shoot the three. His first miss of the night, but it's an offensive rebound for Marquise Moore. Canyon Berry drives. He lays it in. So layups tonight for the Iowa Wolves. All layups. You know, that Darius Soden just shot a jump shot, and he, didn't, and he missed it. So, you know, make them shoot jump shots. Don't make it so easy for them just to lay it in. Nate Mason misses there. Johnson Odom gives it off, but then gets it right back. Jalen Johnson to the cup. Awkwardly gives it up, but Canyon Berry hits the open three. And Bob McKinnon wants a timeout as the Iowa Wolves is just right at the rim. You know, make them shoot jump shots. If you get beat shooting jump shots, that's fine. Now, you got to put a hand in their face or the hand up, but you don't want them to get easy jump shots uncontested. But, you know, make them dribble. Make them, make them have to come off the dribble and hit shots, not just straight line drives, easy layups. And it's Darius Johnson Odom leading the way with 12. And it's a steal there for Johnson. Gives off to Lee. He lost it for a moment. Gives it back up. And then we have a whistle. I think that's going to go on Preston. And Johnson can't convert. And it's actually going to go against Xavier Johnson. It'll send Jalen Johnson to the free throw line. He'll shoot a pair. 70% from the free throw line. Jalen Johnson played three years at Louisville. He was with the Windy City Bulls last year. He misses the first. Costas Antetokounmpo leading the way for the Legends. He's got seven, but went back to the locker room earlier. He's back out on the bench, so we'll see if he comes back into this game. One of two for Johnson. Quickly the other way is Burrell, and he draws the whistle. He'll go for two shots. Burrell came in and hit that three, and now he will get a chance to go to the line. Trisan shoots only 53% from the free throw line. And he missed the first there. Both teams 4 of 7 from the charity stripe so far. And Burrell misses them both, but a good offensive rebound for Xavier Johnson. Burrell has it back. He's going to drive on Barry. A little behind the back pass. Johnson chases it down, gives to Keith Hornsby, just like they drew it up. He hits the three. In the right spot at the right time. That's an easy shot for Keith Hornsby going to his left. I've seen him hit that shot plenty of times. Legends 5 of 8 from 3. I have a 5 of 13. The whistle away from the ball. 
That's going to go against Xavier Johnson. That's already his third. 7.26 to go here in the first half as Thomas Welsh comes back in. As well as Brandon Goodwin. And in the game for the first time tonight, DeAndre Daniels wearing number 20 for the Legends. DeAndre Daniels is part of that 2014 UConn national title team. Johnson Oda with the right hand, flips it across. Back to Welsh, puts the ball on the floor. Shot clock's down to four. Johnson Odom sees that, rises for three, grazes the front iron. So two threes for Johnson Odom. He's missed both. That seems to be the strategy, and now he picks up the foul. Yeah, you can see they went under the screen on him to try and make him shoot that jump shot, which he did. So you want to have him shoot jump shots. You just don't want him going downhill. Burrell throws it into Mason. Mason a screen from Preston. Now it's Hornsby. Curls around to Billy Preston. His mid-range J is off. Welsh gets the rebound from his own teammate, William Lee. Here's Johnson Odom. Inside. Lost the ball. Bob McKinnon wants to travel, but it's going to be a foul. It's going to go against Billy Preston. Preston picks up his first. The third team foul on the Legends. Canyon Barry comes out for Jared Terrell. There's Lee, top of the key. Flips it over to Johnson Ode. He misses his third three of the night. Nate Base in the rebound. Daniels thought about the three, gives it up for Hornsby, who hits the three. That's good ball movement right there. You know, make the extra pass to the corner three. You got Keith Thornsby, who's going to definitely knock that down and bucket. He's up to eight points. The lead down to ten for the Wolves. That shot missed by Terrell. Legends chase down the loose ball. They can get it back to single digits here. Daniels will shoot the three, and it's short. Offensive rebound to Preston as he tips it to himself. Daniels has another shot. Why not? He misses that one. Lee up high for the rebound. Goodwin quickly the other way. Inside. Gets the whistle. Misses the shot. Mason will be charged with that one. And he will go to the line. See, the Iowa Wolves have been just so aggressive attacking the basket that they're going to get those calls. You know, it's, it's hard whenever you get easy layups after easy layups and then you keep the game, keeps going, and, you know, the referees is going to give you those calls whenever you attack the basket hard. Good one hits the first. Raton Mays and Macon back in for the Legends. Burrell and Mason go off, and Billy Preston comes out for Hassan Dixon Tatum. Dixon Tatum doesn't get a lot of minutes. You wonder if that means... Coast to Santa Kumpo, not good to go for the rest of the night. We will keep our eyes on that. As Goodwin hits them both, lead back to 12 for Iowa. They've led by as many as 16 in this first half. C.J. Williams back on the floor for the Wolves as well. Making inside, mid-range shot. Looked like it was blocked, and we get a late whistle. That's going to be a foul on Brandon Goodwin, and it will send Daryl Macon to the line for a couple of shots. Daryl was one of two from the free throw, or he's one of two from the free throw line. I should say he split a pair earlier. He hits the first there. As we take a look, let's see if there's some contact here. Yep, got his wrist. Making second, he hits them both. Five and a half left in this first half. The Legends would love to go into halftime with the lead. Or I should say the deficit under single digits. But Thomas Welsh, a little turnaround fadeaway. Off one foot, doing the Dirk shot. Make it. Has some space. Goes to it. Can't hit it off the glass, but gets his own miss. Dixon Tatum inside. 
has the size advantage on Williams, but can't hit the turnaround. Welsh, the rebound. And Keith Hornsby almost gets a steal, but Goodman, Goodwin comes away with it. Williams in the corner, fakes the three. Hornsby flies by, and he hits. CJ, two of three from three. Those are all six of his points. Daniels attacks Williams. Goes in up with the right. Misses the shot. Ball is loose, and it goes off Dixon Tatum out of bounds to the Iowa Wolves. You know, if you're the legends right here, you just want to try and get stops and enter this halftime, you know, with single digits. Good one. Lost it from Welsh, but goes straight to Darius Johnson Odom. There's Johnson Odom. Trapped in the corner, gets rid of it to Goodwin, who looks for the extra pass, finds it to Williams, who has to get a shot up. End of the shot clock, he gets it off, and it goes in. And that is the largest lead of the half for the Iowa Wolves at 18 points. Their field goal percentage at 54, they're shooting 41% from three. As Keith Hornsby can't hit that one. Cold shooting night for the Texas Legends continues. 36% from the field in this first half. Goodwin rises over Dixon Tatum. Nice contest. Making the board. Quickly the other way. Lays it in. That's a great take. You want to attack the basket. You, you know, you get your easy shots. Then, you, you know, then the ball is spread out. Then you'll start hitting your threes. But get easy shots first. Williams fakes the three inside, works his way around, misses the shot, rebound tipped out, and it goes back to the Legends. Making no look pass inside to Daniels, into the body of Johnson Oda, misses inside, Dixon Tatum cleans it up. Tatum cleans it up. Now it's about getting stops. You know, there's, there's over two minutes left. You know, get a couple of stops. Try and get this lead even lower. Keith Hornsby on the ball. He's had that responsibility most of the first half. Johnson Odom drives inside a hard foul. And that's going to go on DeAndre Daniels, I believe. Johnson Odom will get two shots, and it does go on Daniels. That's the fifth team foul on the Legends. It's the first on Daniels, and Dante Ingram will check back in, along with Jalen Johnson of the Iowa Wolves. On Wednesday, the Legends got down 21 to seven in that first quarter. And Iowa has led by as many as 18 here in this first half tonight. On the second night of a back-to-back -back for them. Johnson Odom hits the first. The second is on the way, that one is in. Raton Mays and Hornsby go back and forth. Screen from Dixon Tatum. Raton Mays wanted to go that way, then tries to flip it inside. It goes straight to C.J. Williams, but he wasn't looking for it. It goes off his hands and out of bounds. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Raton Mays will throw it in. Bounce pass inside, he gets it right back. Now he's trapped in the corner, has to get rid of it. Looks cross court to Ingram, and it's picked off by Johnson Odom. Transition, Terrell, too easy. Too easy. Again, layups after layups. You have to get back. Macon gets the screen, he gets to the free throw line. He throws another pass away. I should say Raton Mays threw one away, now Macon. And the Wolves make the Legends pay, and it's their largest lead of the first half. It's Johnson Odom with 14. C.J. Williams has nine. Brandon Goodwin has nine. Thomas Wells has eight points and six rebounds. So they're spreading out the scoring of the Iowa Wolves. The Legends try to cut into this deficit as we end the first half. 
Macon inside the three-point line, backs it out. As the mismatch gets to the elbow, rises for two. No good. Dixon Tatum, the offensive rebound, and then we have a tie-up, and it's a foul on Darius johnson Oda. Fourteen on the shot clock. The legend will throw it in. Nice offensive rebound from Dixon Tatum. Raton Mays, top of the key, gets the screen. Drives to the right, goes up into the body of Johnson and draws the whistle. He'll go to the line. That's a strong take by Wade the Mays right there. That's Johnson's third. You know, just like the Iowa Wolves are attacking downhill, you know, Raithen and, and Daryl Macon, you know, the other guards, they got to attack downhill too, get these calls as well. Tom Mays misses the first, another one on the way. His second one is good. Darius Johnson Odom walks it up. He was actually a 2012 draft pick of the Dallas Mavericks, immediately traded to the LA Lakers that night as Williams misses the three. And Johnson Odom is six of nine from the field, has 14 in this first half. For Tom Mays into the body of Williams, misses, rebound tipped around a couple of times, but it's Johnson Odom who comes up with it as we approach a minute to play in this first half. Ball almost stolen by Ingram. Goodwin comes up with it, finds C.J. Williams, who's fouled and throws it up, and it falls. And it's been that kind of first half for the Texas legend. C.J. Williams will go to the line for a three-point play with 50 seconds to go in this second quarter. You no. Know, the ball always goes to the aggressive side. You know, the ball has been slinging around. It was thrown around everywhere. And, it ended up in the right people's hands at the right place in time, and they got their easy bucket to get a hand one. Williams hits the free throw. He's up to 12 points. So two players in double figures for the Iowa Wolves, Williams and Johnson Odom. For the Legends, it's just Daryl Macon with 10. Next in line is Keith Hornsby with 8. Baton Mays finds Macon. Takes it inside, lays it up and in. You know, and the game is not over. You know, it's still, they still have the second half, and, but they're going to have to come out, you know, punching and ready to go. It's a long game, so, you know, it's still anybody's game at this point. Johnson Oden goes right into the body of Dixon Tatum. The shot is blocked. He wanted the foul. He's not going to get it. It goes out of bounds, and it will go to the Legends, who can hold for the final shot of this first half. Tom Mays calls something out. He's going to get the screen from Dixon Tatum. Into the paint. Lost the ball. Gets it back. Hornsby has to get a shot off for three at the buzzer. No good. And that ends the first half with a Keith Hornsby miss three. And it's a 20. At the Southern Star of Zone as we get set for the third quarter at the Comerica Center. Nick Nepic, Booker Woodfox with you and the Iowa Wolves start with the ball. And they start the third quarter with a 20-point lead. Brandon Goodwin runs the point. Billy Preston starting this second half for the Legends, so would lead you to believe that Costa Antetokounmpo will not be back in this game. And we have our first whistle of the second half. Xavier Johnson just picked up his fourth foul, trying to take the ball away from Thomas Welsh. Welsh a bit hobbled over. Wonder if he tweaked something there. Looks all to be all right. 14 on the shot clock for C.J. Williams, who throws it in. Welsh defended out on the perimeter by Billy Preston, who's starting this third quarter. Williams drives in the flush with the left hand for the former Texas legend, C.J. Williams. And that's what can't happen. Your first bucket for the Iowa Wolves, if you're the legend, you can't let their first bucket be an easy layup dunk. Daryl Macon. Gets the screen from Preston. At the free throw line, goes back to Preston. Shot fake, rises for three, off to the left. Johnson out on the board. He gets a screen from Welsh. Throws a pass inside. It's knocked away by Raton Mays. It leads to a transition opportunity for the Legends. An open Keith Hornsby three in and out. 
Offensive rebound, Preston goes back up with it, puts it in. Those are the kinds of plays the Legends will need in this second half. Offensive rebounds, extra possessions. They want to get back in this one. Thomas Welsh can't finish over the much smaller Daryl Macon. Macon gets the screen to the elbow, stops there. Now it's back out for Tom Mays. He's going to drive off the glass, rattles it in. That's a great take right there. That's what you want to do. You want to start attacking, you know, make them put pressure on them as well, just like the Iowa Wolves did to them in the first half. Put pressure on them. Make them have to play some defense. Inside to Welsh. Had the size advantage on Hornsby, and it's an easy finish for Thomas Welsh. Assist goes to Johnson Odom. That's his fifth assist. Xavier Johnson, nice move inside. Right back. It's a great move. Johnson Odom into the body of Hornsby. Preston switches on him. His cross-court pass is tipped away by Raton Mays. Nice hands by Xavier. And now Jalen Johnson will come in for Thomas Welsh. 12 seconds on the shot clock for the Legends. Or excuse me, the Wolves. Shooting to our right, your left. Johnson to Goodwin. Easy finish. And it just layups all night for the Iowa Wolves. They hold that 20-point lead. Xavier Johnson inside off the glass, off the mark. C.J. Williams grabs the board, and he's going to take it down the floor. Finds Goodwin, open for three, takes it, hits it. The 23-point lead now for the Iowa Wolves, their largest of the game. And they have started this quarter, third quarter just how they finished the second, making shots. You're absolutely right. And Preston is fouled on the mid-range. We can hear that one from here. The foul's going to go on Jalen Johnson. Billy Preston will head to the line. See, you don't want to exchange baskets with them. You want to get stops on the defensive end if you're the Texas Legends. You know, you get down there on the offensive end, you score, and then you get stops. I'll never forget, you know, uh, when we had coach, when I was playing with um, Eddie Nahara, he would always tell us, try and get three stops in a row when you're down. You know, that'll help, and then score on the other end. So if the Legends can get a few stops in a row, you know, then that, you know, then the Iowa Wolves maybe get cold and the Legends get to keep going on offense. But it's all about getting the stops now. And if you can add up those stops, that all leads to momentum. It helps the offensive end. It all plays together as Preston hits one of two. The Legends got down big on Wednesday to Iowa. They fought back well, ended up losing that game by 11. But... They got it within single digits in the fourth quarter, but the comeback fell short, so they are more than capable. Johnson Odom misses the jumper, Preston the board. That's the shots you want them taking if you're the legends. Raton Mays, a nifty pass to Hornby, misses the jumper. Xavier Johnson almost cleaned up the offensive rebound, but couldn't, and Jalen Johnson on the other end. Too easy. There has to be some communication out there if you're the Texas Legends. Raton Mays on the perimeter. Inside to the cup, off the glass. Nice finish for Xavier Raton Mays. He's got seven points. Still just one legend in double figures. That's Daryl making it 12. Four Wolves already in double figures. CJ Williams is one of those. Shot fake on the three, puts that one up. It's too strong. Rebound tipped, and it goes off of Hornsby. Out of bounds. It'll stay with the Wolves as L.J. Gill comes into the game. Gill's first action tonight replaces Jalen Johnson. Goodwin throws it in. It's Terrell. Shot fake in drive. Lost the ball, but there is a foul, and that's going to go on Xavier Raton Mays. That's his second Second team foul on the Legends. For the Wolves, C.J. Williams has 14. Brandon Goodwin has 14. J Darius Johnson Odom also has 14. Thomas Welsh has 10 points. He also has six rebounds. Terrell hits the first. Jared Terrell played at Rhode Island in his first season 
in the G League. He was a part of that upset of Oklahoma in last year's NCAA tournament. Had 13 points in that game. He hits both free throws. Raton Mays goes behind the back. Free throw line jumper. It's good. Nice shot by Xavier Raton Mays. The Legends have to play defense if they want to get back into this one, and there's plenty of time to do it. C.J. Williams puts a move on Raton Mays. Shoots up and over. Misses the shot. Preston goes up high for the board. You know, whenever the Legends contest the shots, you know, they're not hitting. You know, our Wolves aren't hitting everything. You know, so they want to keep contesting those jumpers, making it tough for them. Preston misses the three in transition. It was in and out. And that would have been a big three. Back the other way comes Iowa. Hornsby defending his former teammate Williams. Williams drives, has to give it up. It's an awkward pass to Terrell, but it leads to a three. It's short. Rebounder of Tom Mays. Back-to-back -back stops for the Legends. Make it to Preston. Thought about the three. He's going to drive anyway. He goes up with the right hand. Nice finish in the lane for Billy Preston. You know, that's a, he's, a, he's a big guard. Like He's really good at going downhill and getting to his spot. Goodwin answers with a three. Raton Mays in the lane. Awkward finish for Raton Mays. Think he might have wanted a whistle. He doesn't get the call. He's up to 11. Second legend in double figures. Raton Mays, 5 of 10 from the field. Jared Terrell, the only Iowa Wolf that started the game not in double figures. Brandon Goodwin misses the three, misses everything. In fact, he's up to 17 points to lead all scores. And then a foul on Raton Mays in transition. And that'll lead to a timeout on the floor. 6.09 to go in double figures. They're shooting 51% from the field. They shoot 46% on average. And they're shooting 39% from three. That's four percentage points better than their season average at 35. The Legends have the ball here. Macon around a Preston screen. Into the lane. Gives it up for Ingram to shoot the three. Short. High for the rebound is Terrell. Goodwin is going to run the point for the Wolves, and now he's trying to give it off to Johnson. Odom. Nice denial by Hornsby. It's Gill at the elbow. Drives on Preston. Spin move off the glass. Can't finish. And the ball goes out of bounds to the legend. As Gill is on the floor, but he gets up and he's all right. Better defense here for the Legends in the third quarter. Booker, they have not been able to string together a lot of stops in a row, or like you said, put together three in a row and make shots and put a big dent into the deficit. Yeah, you're right. You know, they're, they're getting stops, but they're getting one or, or two here and there. But, you, you know, it's, it's still a long game, and they still have a chance to come back. They haven't made that great run yet. You know, and a run is coming. It's just how long they can sustain that run. Gill fouls Billy Preston on the perimeter. So the lead to an inbound for the Legends. Make it. Screen from Preston. Now he gets it back. Spin move. Billy Preston up with the right hand and drops it in. A nice showing here for Billy Preston in his home debut. He's up to nine points. He's got seven boards. Johnson Odom all the way to the cup, gives up for Gill, gets around Billy Preston. That was an awkward looking move, but it works and he finishes the basket. So Tom Mays, free throw line. He'll shoot it, get it, get it to go. See, they're just kind of going basket for basket. The legend's got to try and get stops on the defensive end and then score on the offensive end. Cross-court pass, C.J. Williams passes up the three for Terrell in the corner. Now he gives it up cross-court to Goodwin. He shoots the three, misses everything. Falls straight to Keith Hornsby, who spins in transition. It's Ingram in the corner, right back to Keith. He'll drive at the cup finish, laying it in. That's Hornsby's strong, up to 10. Dude. That is a strong move by Keith Hornsby right there. Jab going middle, go baseline, put your body on him, and attack the basket strong. Three legends now in double figures of that Hornsby land. 
Terrell shoots the three. Off to the right. Long rebound to Goodwin. Ball poked away by Preston, but Goodwin keeps it up and puts it in. Just when they, you know, have a chance to get that ball, you know, it ends up in the wrong person's hands, and uh, we'll always get a second chance at it. Hornsby drives again, draws the foul. Can't get the shot to fall, but he will go to the free throw line. Sean Dixon Tatum and Vander Blue will check in to the Legends. Billy Preston looks like he will check out, and Kenyon Barry will come in for the Iowa Wolves. Daryl Macon is the one being replaced by Vander Blue. Marquis Moore comes in for the Iowa Wolves, replaces Terrell. Terrell, the only starter for Iowa, not in double figures. He has eight points. Williams has 14. Welsh, 10. Goodwin, 19. And Johnson Odom has 14. And he had 14 at the half. So he's had a quiet third quarter. Free throw is good for Hornsby. He's up to 12. Dixon Tatum fouls Goodwin, or excuse me, Johnson Odom on that drive as he got by Hassan. And they'll send him to the line for a pair of free throws where he's two of three already tonight. You know, they did a good job on him early. You just don't want him to get going again and hitting that, hitting that downhill speed and getting these easy layups. And he hasn't just scored tonight. He's got six assists and five rebounds. So getting his teammates involved as well. It's been a strong game for Johnson Odom, the former Mavericks draft pick in 2012. He was immediately traded to the Lakers that night. He's had some time in the NBA. Ten-day contract with the 76ers in 2014 as he hits the pair of free throws. Vander Blue back into the game. Gives it off to Raton Mays. Raton Mays puts a nice move on Moore. Can't finish the jumper. Goodwin to the free throw line. Nice defense by Dixon Tatum, but then he and Raton Mays knock the ball away from each other. Both players going for the rebound, and it leads to an Iowa bucket. You know, the loose balls have just been landing in the Iowa Wolves' hands, and it's been giving them easy layups, easy putbacks. And Vander Blue drives, and it's going to be a goaltend against Iowa. So that's going to go on the board for Vander, his first field goal of the night. And he is now two made field goals away from second all-time in the G League. Before that, he was 0 for 2. Blue defends Goodwin here. Goodwin whips a pass to Barry. Gonna drive step back jumper for Canyon Barry. Left it short. Raton Mays scoops it up. Brings it the other way. Ingram on the wing. Gives to Vander Blue. Over to the corner to Keith Hornsby who drives. Drop off to Dixon Tatum. Misses the jumper. Touched everything but the bottom of the net there. That's good ball movement though. Moore inside, gives it up for Goodwin. Shot fake, back to Moore. Baseline drive, finds Barry open for three, yes. You know, whenever, you, whenever you're a guard and you go baseline or you go middle, you know, whenever the, the big men have to collapse on you, that's whenever you get open threes, and that's why Barry got open right there. Barry now has 10 points, five wolves in double figures. Ingram. Defended by Barry. Now it's Dixon Tatum inside. Has the mismatch, but Johnson Odom pokes it away and gets the steal. And quickly he's coming the other way and fouled in transition by Xavier Raton Mays. That's going to lead to a timeout. The loose balls that's been killing them. You know, the ball has been going every which way, and then the Iowa Wolves have been getting in and laying it in or getting the easy uh, jump shot with non-contested. So they're getting stops, but now it's about getting these loose balls. You know, they're going to have a run here soon, and hopefully it's now. There's another loose ball after the Legends almost create a steal. It goes to Brandon Goodwin, and he hits the three. Just what we talked about, you know, a loose ball, and then when everybody's scrambling, and it gets into the right person's hands for a jump shot. Goodwin's up to 22 on the night. Blue to Hornsby. 
Little shimmy, jumper is good. Keith Hornsby now has 14 to lead all legends in scoring. Good one to a cutting William Lee in the lane and one. Dixon Tatum's gonna be called for the foul and Lee will go to the free throw line and a chance for a three point play. Lee did not play in the game Wednesday in Iowa. Playing here tonight, nine minutes. He's got four points and three boards. As Terrell comes back into the game, Lee shoots 70% from the foul line. And he hits that one. Vander Blue spins on Canyon Berry, goes into his body, now gives it up for Keith Hornsby. Inside to Dixon Tatum. He's going to go up and over. LJ Gill, and it falls. Dixon Tatum has been playing for Costa Santa Cumpo, who started the game but only played 12 minutes. Dixon Tatum has played nine. He's got four points, three boards. Marquise Moore drives on Mason, drops it off. Easy finish for Gill as Dixon Tatum ends up on the floor. 12 seconds to go in the third. The Legends can hold for the last shot of the quarter. As they have their largest deficit of the game at 26. Vander Blue with the clock winding down. Going to drive, stop, spin, and he did not get the shot off. I'm not sure he knew exactly how much time he had, but that ends the third quarter either way, and it's a big lead. pass in transition. Nice job by Billy Preston to avoid the defender and lay it up and in. Preston's got 12 points. He's 5 of 10 from the field. These two teams played here December 3rd. Or excuse me, they played here in November. And then they played in Iowa just a few days ago. Terrain during the final home game of this season. Sign up for free today at www.winanewterrain.com or sign up at any Legends home game. Blue misses a shot to start the fourth quarter. And the Wolves will have the ball. Nick Nepic, Booker Woodfox, happy to be with you tonight with the Legends trail by 26. In fact, they have only led once this game. That was 2-1 to one in the opening minutes of this one. But they forced the turnover here, and they will have the ball back. You know, it's, it is the fourth quarter, and this is where we're going to have to try and make a run out. They're going to have to try and make a run starting now. You know, and they just got to move the ball and try and get open shots and then get stops on the defensive end. DeAndre Daniels, Billy Preston, Nick Mason join Vander Blue and Dante Ingram for the Legends. Terrell's going to pick up the foul on Preston as Preston had good position. But it's Jared Terrell, LJ Gill, Canyon Berry, Marquise Moore, and William Lee for the Iowa Wolves to start this fourth quarter. Terrell, the only starter for the Wolves not in double figures. He has eight points. That was his second foul. Mason, the long two, is good. Nate Mason, and one of the newer legends, played his first game at Iowa the other night. College player at Minnesota. Lee gets Preston in the air, but misses the jumper. And it's Mason with the rebound. Comes up the near side of the floor, drives, floater no good. It's a rebound to the Wolves. Iowa shooting 52% on the night as the ball's out of bounds. It'll stay with Iowa. They're shooting 40% from three. Meanwhile, the Legends just 43% from the field and 35% from three. Legends are only 7 of 12 from the free throw line, while Iowa's 14 of 17. Barry inbounds to Moore. I think Blue got a hand on it, but it doesn't matter. Moore corrals it and puts it in off the glass. One point away from the century mark are the Iowa Wolves. Blue on the perimeter. Inside, and he's going to draw the contact. 
you know, it's that's good. That's good to start it off, you know, with Blue going to the basket. You're not going to get it all back in one play and one shot. So you just got to keep staying with it, keep trusting your teammates and trust yourself that, you know, you can close in on this on this lead that the Iowa Wolves have. Blue will get two free throws. Misses the first. It's only the second team foul in this early goings of the fourth quarter for Iowa. Vanderblue, quiet night. In 13 minutes, he's got two points. He's one of four from the field. Make that three points for Vander. Canyon Berry surveys things. Gives it off to Moore. Moore's got a little bit of size advantage on Mason. Goes into him, tries the fadeaway. It's off the mark. Daniels grabs the miss. Gives off to Mason. He'll rise for three. Got it. That's good penetration right there by Daniels. To penetrate and then hit your guard for the three. That's how you got to play. Mason's got five points in this fourth quarter. He's up to eight. Shot high off the backboard is missed by Terrell. Preston gets the rebound in traffic. Gives it off to Vander Blue. Drives off the glass, no good. Tips it out to Dante Ingram who passes up the three. Now it's Preston who will take the three. Too strong. Rebound chased down by Ingram. Can he save it? He does. And Preston grabs it, gives it off to Mason. So nice effort plays here by the Legends. Leads to a Mason floater. Off the glass, no good. Terrell defended by Blue. He's going to rise for three. Off the mark. Billy Preston gets the rebound. That's nine and nine for Billy Preston. Here's Vander Blue for three. Too much on it. Terrell transition in the body of Daniels. No call. He wanted one, but Mason grabs it. Off to Ingram. Nice move by Ingram, defended by Barry. That's a nice take right there by Ingram. Now the, the Legends are pushing the ball. They're pushing it and pushing it. That's what they need to do. It's a big lead for the Iowa Wolves. The Legends have been able to get a few stops in a row here. They're going to need a lot of them in this final eight minutes. Barry inside, and he is fouled. And that's going to go on Billy Preston. Just came right down on Canyon Barry. He will go to the free throw line. Canyon Barry, well known, and I'm glad we get to see him at the free throw line because he is, or at least was internet famous, known for shooting underhanded free throws. Is he going to do it now? I believe so. Made famous at Florida in his one year last year. Played at the College of Charleston before that. He misses the first one. He good, sure did. Didn't he? Good free throw shooter. Shoots 87%. But I'm glad we get to see it in uh, person. <laughs> I'm glad we get to see this too. As he missed both of them. Looked a little flat. Normally those shots get a bit more arc. 0 for 2 from the line for Canyon Berry on the underhanded free throws. Billy Preston working inside in that low block. Turnaround. Gets the whistle. Can't get the shot to fall, but he will go to the free throw line as CJ Williams. The former legend and Darius Johnson Odom will check in for Scott Roth. And the Iowa Wolves. Preston has nine points, nine boards. I'm still shocked that he shot those two free throws. I'm glad we got to see it. The first one I thought he was, I mean, that is unbelievable. Preston hits his free throw. Barry will be replaced. I wanted him to stay in. I want to see some more of that. <laughs> Billy Preston gets his second. Rolls out. Rebound to C.J. Williams, the former legend. 14 points, three rebounds in his return to Frisco for this season. I guess his second game in Frisco. I believe he was here earlier this year. That's Terrell. Drive on Daniels, all the way to the cup, 
Williams the tip, he misses it, another one misses that one, a third doesn't fall, and then a rebound to Terrell. Gill, back to Williams, CJ, fake the three, now he takes the three, got it to fall. So, See, and that's what the loose balls do to him, you know, another loose ball, and and the uh, Iowa's got second and third chances at it to get that easy three in the corner by, by CJ Williams. Ingram can't hit, tip doesn't drop for Daniels. Transition for Goodwin, almost throws it away. Johnson Odom saves it. Terrell will shoot the three, left it short. Blue's gonna throw a bounce pass in transition. Visit textlegends.com slash camp for more information. I misspoke a moment ago. These two teams have played three times. November 18th, January 21st, and a couple of days ago, February 20th. The Legends won at home on January 21st, 119-118. DJ Williams lost the ball, and we have a whistle. I think the Legends thought they were going to get a steal there, but it is a foul. It's the foul's going to go against Xavier Johnson. That's his fifth, fresh into the game. Before that last time out, Billy Preston recorded his first double-double, 12 points, 10 rebounds for the first-year player. Daryl Macon into the game out of that timeout. Defends good one here. Jalen Johnson has it. Wanted to give it back, but drives and finishes. Man, you know, it's just been one of those type of nights. You know, they're just they're just getting layup after layup. Making inside draws the contact. The fourth team foul against the Iowa Wolves. It's going to be free throws for the Legends. The foul went against Darius Johnson. Odom is third. Sends Daryl Macon to the line. Macon tonight, 12 points. Three of four from the free throw line, and he hits that one. The average is 19 on the year, so a bit below his season average as he's at 13 now. Keith Hornsby still leads the Legends in scoring with 14. Is Xavier Johnson comes out. Xavier Raton Mays comes in. Leading all scorers is Brandon Goodwin with 22. Season average is just under 23, so he's right there. Both free throws good for Darrell Macon. Johnson Odom inside, nice. Sidestep of Billy Preston in a lay-in what he did at the entire first half and he's now up to 20 points yeah i mean if you're the legends now it's just about having some pride you know not letting them get whatever they want these last five minutes of this game making with a nice finish inside four straight points for daryl making and a steal for billy preston Tom mays hands off to making looking at preston now he gives it to him Preston faces Johnson, one dribble, then a little bit of an awkward pass to make it with the shot clock winding down. He's going to rise for the long two and six straight points for Daryl Macon as he hits the jumper. He's up to 18. Well, he is. He can score. You know, that's what he does. He can get high at any moment. Nice pass from Johnson to Johnson Odom. And the shot fake, and he puts it in. So he's got 22. Brandon Goodwin's got 22. Macon, who's been the hot hand for, here for the Legends in the last few minutes, gives it up for Raton Mays, but he's called for the travel. Jason Burrell comes in. Keith Hornsby comes in. Ingram and Blue go out. 4-12 left, and it's been all Iowa here tonight. They've led by as many as 26. The Legends had just a one-point lead in the early goings when they led 2-1. to one. Johnson inside. Can't hit it. It's knocked out of bounds by Johnson as he tried to get his own miss. Burrell's been quiet tonight. He's 
in the game now, but off the bench, he just has three points. He's hit the only shot he's taken, which was a three. But he had 20 points Wednesday in the Legends loss on the road. Macon inside, up and under, finish for Daryl Macon, and he's gotten hot here in the fourth. He's up to 20 points. And it's nice to see from the two-way player who spent a lot of time with the Mavericks in the middle of the season, but he's back in Frisco. And you can see the improvements from Daryl Macon. He's always been able to score, but it just looks a bit easier for him. Yeah, and the reason it looks a little bit easy for him is because he's playing up there with the big guys. He's probably going against Luka Doncic and, and the other guards up there, Tim Hardaway Jr. So whenever he gets down here, he's, it's easier for him. You know, he has a better feel for the game. It comes easier. You know, he's able to pick his spots on the court. So, you know, it, it's good to see him out here doing what he does best, and that's score the basketball. Billy Preston hits the three. He's up to 15, and the lead's down to 15. But C.J. Williams hits the lay-in. Making attacking. Up and under. Draws the contact.